Hi, it's Bud Wilkinson. This time we're at Stu Leonard's in Newington, Connecticut for a car show that has filled the parking lot. Unlike inside the colorful grocery store, there were no animatronic singing animals outside the car show at Stu Leonard's on Sunday. There were just cars and trucks that kept arriving. Right here! Until all the parking spaces and available bear spots were filled. The car show was supposed to start at 10 o'clock, but people started showing up much, much earlier. And long before 11 o'clock, they were already turning folks away. It was Tat Hayes, president of the Over the Hill Gang Club that organized the show, who shut off the entries. I'm just telling them to go find a spot and enjoy. We're not charging them a $10 fee to be a part of the, uh, the judging and all that, but please enjoy yourself because we're walking through the parking lot too and looking at stuff. Everyone's here, they're walking through. I have never seen so many spectators either. It's unbelievable. Especially for a first time event. We always anticipate it, but this was fast and furious when it came in. It was unbelievable. I, I guess after last year with all the rainouts we had, people were just itching to get their cars out. One modest entry worthy of attention was a 1961 Comet owned by Eric Weiss of Berlin, Connecticut. Well, it was a barn find. It's not, it kind of found us. Uh, a woman bought it in 1961. She drove it about 10 years. She got sick. The car sat in the garage for the next 24 years. Only had about 14,000 miles when we found it. Because these were pretty much utility cars, throwaway, nobody saved them. Luckily, the car was undercoated from new, so most of the body was solid. We had to go through the fuel system, brakes, all that, and got it back to running condition. Weiss has had the Comet for nearly 30 years. If you remember the Comet as a Mercury model, you're only half correct. The Comet was originally going to be a baby Edsel. Uh, but right around the time they were launching the car in 1960, Edsel was folding. So they made the car as a separate franchise for two model years, 60, 61. It was just a Comet. If you open the door, it says manufactured by Comet. Then in 62, they adopted it into Mercury, which was left in... Uh, it became a, a Mercury Comet after that. Whether a rotary engine relic built by Mazda and still going hum, or a snazzy Pontiac Tempest convertible, the show at Stu Leonard's had something for every classic car lover to enjoy. There was even a 1959 Fiat 600 owned by Michael Staub of Middletown, Connecticut. Fiat introduced the car in 1955 to the motoring public and uh, kept that model through 1959. Uh, the original car had a um, liquid-cooled four-cylinder engine uh, with five-eighths of a, a liter uh, offering 22 horsepower. It's a model that Staub learned to drive on. In 1957, when my parents uh, decided that they needed a second car in the family, uh, they chose uh, this Fiat 600. Uh, it was available from Burnside Motors at the time in East Hartford, the corner of Burnside Avenue and uh, Main Street, long gone now. Um, it's uh, the car on which I uh, trained to get my driver's license when I was 17. Uh, when uh, the uh, inspector got out of the car, uh, he assured me that I had passed, but he didn't know if I could drive. Uh, it was just a kind of a car that was basically a motorcycle on four wheels, uh, and uh, he, he was accustomed to people taking their test in a more conventional American car from the 1950s. Whether it was a vibrant, muscular pony car catching one's eye, or a hot rod evoking memories, the show at Stu Leonard's had a successful debut. Normally it takes us a good year to get this kind of thing going, and we did it in, I want to say three months, which is unheard of also. We've done so many of these in a parking lot, we've done so many of these in a field. If we don't know what we're doing after being in this business for over 30 years, we shouldn't be putting a show on. I mean, we got great people parking cars, we got great people organizing it, and it's all about your partnership with whoever you're dealing with, like in this case, Stu Leonard's, who is willing to help and make things happen and understands how a car show is done. In Newington, Connecticut, for Ride Connecticut, I'm Bud Wilkinson, reminding you to subscribe to Ride Connecticut's YouTube channel.